Movie Scrub, and today we're going to see how Android Jelly Bean 4.2.1 in the form of CM10 runs on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now, there are a couple of new things, a lot of tweaks added, and, and a lot of options to customize uh, the way you use. But the best part is the lock screen widgets. So now, just like the home screens, you have uh, lock screens. And what you can do with that is add widgets to it depending upon um, what you use most. You even have a direct access to cameras, just you know, swipe away to camera. So again, when you add uh, a widget, you get these multiple options and you can get more if you add uh, something like uh, dash clock or something. So, and you know, you can obviously add and remove uh, lock screens just the way you can uh, customize your home screens. And just like the ROMs that you've seen in uh, Nexus uh, phones, the UI is extremely smooth. Now let me just uh, go ahead and show you that this device is actually running Android uh, 4.2.1. So there you go, it's uh, Android version 4.2.1 and if you tap on it a couple of times it'll actually give you a cute animation saying uh, it is Android 4.2.1. They've changed the notification panel a bit, it's cleaner and there's a small icon on the top right which toggles between various settings and uh, notifications like for email or messages. Touch to response is really good as you can see that uh, you know it's following my finger very nicely. Uh, animations are really smooth and there's no lag of any kind. So you know the user experience is excellent. Now let me show you the camera and you know there have been quite a few tweaks in the camera this time. Um, you know they've really enhanced the user experience uh, while taking pictures. So there you go, that's the uh, Android uh, stock camera application. And uh, so, you know, just by tapping on the screen, you can now change and toggle between different settings, you know, whether it's exposure or, uh, you know, switching to front camera or changing your white balance. So all of these things are really simple now. Just tap on the screen and all your settings show up. Now, if you want additional settings, you know, there you go. You, know, you have all of those right here. And uh, again, you can choose from various options depending upon uh, what your need is. The gallery is pretty much the same. Just swipe from camera and you get all your pictures. So you can browse them right there. A new thing they've added is, you know, those three circles you see there. When you tap on that, you get a variety of uh, filters, just like you have on Instagram. You can apply them and save your image directly. A really cool feature that comes with Android 4.2.1 is uh, Daydream. So go into settings, display, and tap on Daydream. It's like a screensaver, really, but it's just... Uh, just a lot better to look at uh, on a phone so just look at that you know it really looks neat and clean and very minimalist photo table is very interesting you know just assign one album that you have uh, your pictures uh, all stored in one location and it just keeps coming on to your phone like uh, it is a table and you know you're just throwing pictures on it so it looks really nice and it's sort of like a screensaver now, as I've said, CM10 gives you a lot of options to tweak stuff. Now, your lock screen, you know, you can actually assign more shortcuts. So if you go into settings, lock screen and slider shortcuts, you can actually assign, you know, it could be a setting, it could be an app, it could be a direct dial to someone. And you can do that right from your lock screen. So you, you don't even have to enter your home screen. You have everything you need on your lock screen, which is quite nice. And you can obviously reset it back if you don't want it. You can even customize the settings grid in your notification panel. So you go to your quick settings panel and uh, you know, go to your ties and layout, click add, and you add any other setting that you want to use, say GPS, and right there it comes on. With CM10, you can also completely customize and tweak your home screen settings, you know, the way your screen transitions and screen animations work, your grid size, the uh, dock, you know, how many icons you want there. Um, and stuff like that. So the launcher really gives you a lot of uh, options to play with. So that's it about the Cyanogen Mod 10 on the Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, running Android 4.2.1. So there are a lot of things that you can do and you know I've just given you a trailer as to what are the potential uh, possibilities.